hi, Stacy Schizophrenia, obviously. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for giving me so many views on my hair tutorials. That's actually the fastest that I've accumulated views like ever. Like I think the second one's been out for like 15-ish hours. It's only like a day and it's already up to like 30. That's the fastest I've ever gotten views on anything. So thanks a lot for that. Um, I got a question today about stress because you know I work and I go to school at the same time and I do get stressed a lot I haven't been getting a lot of sleep and it sucks and it's very hard to handle but you wonder what to do like what's your best way to cope with a stressful situation um, my theory would always be to ask for help like at work if you're freaking out about something like you don't know how to do something or you run out of supplies or whatever and you're just freaking out about it you know it's best to not try to handle it yourself you know Chances are there's someone in the building who's either done your job before or knows how to do it or is doing it now as well, you know, in the same department or whatever. So, you know, try to ask them, you know, ask, I'm sorry, my hair is today. <laughs> uh, try to ask them, like, for tips or whatever, you know, I'm still pretty new in my job and I ask the pros how to do it and they're more than helpful happy, well, more than happy to come help. Um, School-wise, uh, if you're stressed about like a test or something, um, just go to like a tutor lab or something, you know, or get a study group together, you know, you and your best friends. Make learning fun, you know, that's always important. I know that's like a giant cliche, but it really makes things easier to grasp. Um, Let's see here. Uh, my school put on National Treasure 2 Book of Secrets over the weekend and I went to go check it out because I had a night class that ended at like 8.30 and there was like um, half an hour left in the movie so I went and sat down and it further implanted into my brain. I don't think that's a correct sentence but I'm going to use it anyways. Uh, that there should be a what's the word? Not sequel. Requel? I don't know. A third one. The trilogy. There's, I don't know, whatever. A third one coming out. So I came home and I googled it and sure enough, finally they said it's to be re released in 2011, they think. That's a long time, but I'm so, so, so excited. Because, like, I watched the end of the movie and, you know, obviously we have to figure out what's on, what, what is it, like, page 47 or something? It's, like, life-altering. I guess there's rumors of them going to Atlantis, which pisses me off, but now I think I know why. I think he looked it up. I was having an argument with this dude in the chat room over it, because I said, you know, the book was what? Written by all the presidents, so it would have to be an issue in America, right? Because he was saying he thought it would be like a Mayan or like an Aztec issue or Atlantis, you know? So I think he looked it up before me, because I had no idea, so I think he cheated. So, no fair. You cheated. You're a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, should be good. I'm a big Nicolas Cage fan. I I feel bad because like I jumped on the National Treasure bandwagon and that's the only reason I like him now, but like I watched a few of his older ones, you know, and he's a pretty cool actor. I like him. Uh, he doesn't trump James Roday. No one will ever trump James Roday. <laughs> uh, I'm so obsessed. Uh, speaking of obsessed, I watched Dr. Horrible's sing-along vlog not too long ago. Thanks to Toby and Sweden for introducing it to me. Now I am a tad bit obsessed with that as well. But um, it led me to really kind of want to do a cosplay. Um, Dr. Horrible, obviously, for uh, Halloween, and there's like this anime convention thing coming up, so I was going to wear it there, because there's this website that has like the lab coat, you know, like they made it special, so it's legit, you know, and you can like get the goggles and the gloves, and oh my god, it all comes together, so I've been stalking this website, yeah, stalking it, and um, it was like $123-ish, and that's not bad, but since I just work weekends, I make about a hundred dollars each paycheck. <laughs> Can't believe I just admitted that to the world. But um, 
that's my paycheck. So it would have put me behind a little bit. So I wanted to wait until I had like what, like a thousand dollars ish. Right now I have about six hundred. So I was just gonna wait a little bit. I mean, Halloween's still a, a little while away, about a month. So I figured I had nothing to worry about, but then I went on the website yesterday and it says all in big red, this item is currently not in stock. And then it said on like below, like in fine print, all this, I don't know, professional jargon that basically told me that I should not count on trying to get it for Halloween because it's not going to happen. So I was like, fuck, you know, that was my plan. So I guess I'll go back to uh, Dr. Weird, you know, Dr. Weird from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, I, that was my original intention to go out and be Dr. Weird, uh, but I don't even know how to make these little dress thing with <laughs> I suck at making costumes, you see, because I always bought mine, you know, I've never sewn in my life, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I don't think it'll happen, but whatever. Um, so, thanks again for all of, you know, the views and such. Um, I got a question that asked if I took hair requests. I don't really know what that means. Uh, if it means, will I try to attempt a hairstyle that you asked for so you can see how it's done? Sure. Um, my hair knowledge is very limited, but I can give whatever you want a shot, you know. Uh, so just message me or whatever, I don't care. Um, anything else going on? I feel bad for America's economy right now. But I feel even worse that we're not really prepared for it. I mean, I feel like we've been going in like this downward, downward spiral for a long, long time. Now, you know, something finally happens and everyone's stalling. Everyone's just trying to blame one another when we could be doing something about it. I just feel like uh, whoever our next president is better be ready to put up with a lot of shit. I feel like there's a problem with the candidates because McCain will most likely die in office because he's like ancient. And I'm thinking Obama will probably get assassinated because what, like half the company, <laughs> company, yeah, okay, half the country wants him dead, right? I mean, duh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like we're pretty much in trouble. I think we should all just move to Canada. <sighs> no, but uh, yeah, so that's my life right now. Pretty boring, eh? Um, but yeah, leave comments. Talk to me. I like to talk to people, but nobody ever talks to me. Probably because my videos mean absolutely nothing. But uh, that super note thing, I'm totally doing it. I'm going to do my grudge note. Because there's only one person in the world who knows how long I can hold that note. And I'll bet you she'll see this video and she's got a comment. And be like, yeah, Stacy owns it doing the grudge note. Yeah. So <laughs> look for that comment. You want to get someone? I hope. God, my hair. Like, it's not bad, but it's not quite. It's just not as big as usual. Like, it's just. See. I was called, like, I worried about doing the hair tutorials because, um, I thought, you know, people would call me, like, a poser or something. But in blog TV, like, I'm known as Stacey Schizophrenia, everyone's favorite scene. -y. And um, someone came into my room, and they're like, oh my god, you're totally seen. And I was like, am I? Because, you know, I don't call myself that, because that's a little egotistical. What with all the wannabes out there and all that. And he was, so I was like, oh, am I? And he was like, yeah, you are. And if you could just see him, I mean, he's totally emo scene or whatever and stuff like he does like this like this is gorgeous i will link to the video and you can all look at it but so to hear that coming from someone who is obviously totally fits the criteria himself maybe i'm not so far off uh, anyways i gotta go to math class i gotta go pass a test um so yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Send requests. What do you want me to talk about? Give me like a question or like a hairstyle or like a tutorial or anything. Please give me something to do and I'll do it. Okay?